Hi, I'm Liz Hamilton, Group Beauty Director at Treatwell, and today we're here with Cordely talking about cleansing. Uh, cleansing is something that I'm really passionate about for my own skincare regime, um, but not enough people really understand how to cleanse properly. So I'm going to give you some of my top tips and also talk you through some of the products that I like to use myself. Okay, number one, hair has to go back up. So I first put my hair up in a little high ponytail just to get it all off the face. You can use a clip or a headband, but this kind of secured ponytail always works best for me. Okay, so the first and most important part of cleansing, the first thing you really need to know is that if you're not cleansing twice, you're actually not cleansing at all. Um, I always start my cleansing regime with a cleansing oil. Um, the benefit of doing this is that it really just lifts the dirt off and it kind of gives you a great base to then use the active ingredients and the natural ingredients in the next cleanser. Um, so today I'm using Cordly Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. It's got a beautiful texture, just get a few pumps in the hand. Um, and then literally rub it in your hands and then this is the bit I love most, you can really really massage it onto your skin, massage it into the nose, all around the mouth and use the opportunity to just really give your skin a bit of a bit of a rub and a bit of attention too. All the way in, I like to go under the neck as well, a bit of lifting is always good. And then once you've done that, I like to get it, my hands a bit wet. Put it onto my face, rub it around, really emulsify it, get that sort of liquidy feeling going. And this is almost acting like a bit of a wash as well at the same time. When you feel like you've done that, um, next step is to get a flannel or a muslin cloth. I'm using a muslin cloth today. Make it nice and wet and then um, pop it onto your face and just really wipe it off gently, but getting into the areas around your nose and your lips as that extra bit of exfoliation. feels very, very nice and very, very refreshing. Um, yeah, and then that's the first bit done. And you're now ready for your second cleanse. Time for step two, which is the proper cleanse. Now, this is quite an unusual step. Um, so I quite like to mix a foaming cleanser and a deep exfoliating mask together. And the benefit of doing that is you get like a double whammy cleanse. So you're getting a really beautiful second cleanse, but you're also getting the benefits of a deep exfoliator. There we go. Um, into the hand, and then I like to mix them up together so you get this really, really lovely sort of foamy, scrubby texture. And if you're a first time exfoliator, um, then this is a good way for you to start using it. And then I like to put it on my skin to start with, just massage it all the way around the face, on the chin, on the head, and just really let it build up and kind of get into all those areas that you feel quite grimy and dirty in the day, along the jawline where the makeup builds up and under the neck. Oh, it feels so nice. Really work it into the nose. I mean, you can actually leave this on for a few minutes, but I'm gonna take it straight off now. Lovely. And again, the trusty flannel or muslin cloth. And uh, the benefit of using a cloth or a flannel over a cotton wool for me, or just washing off, is that you really get to lift everything away. And it also acts as like a little mini exfoliator for the skin as well. So again, really wipe it off. Over the lips. And then when you feel like you're done, then now is the time to towel dry. Always the best bit. And just dab, remember to dab, not to actually drag it along your face. Otherwise you've taken away all that good work you've just done. Keep everything really fresh. And then my final step is actually a very important step and something that not enough people do. Um, toner or spraying your face with a refreshing mist is just a lovely therapeutic way to end your cleanse. But at the same time, it actually does have benefits for the skin. It tones it, it brightens it, it helps to kind of shrink pores and it really just keeps you looking and feeling fresh. So Cordly Beauty Elixir is a product that I use a lot myself personally, um, but I also like to use it at the end of my regime. It's a quick spritz is all it takes. And that's it. That's my cleansing routine.